me see here. I apologize if it's not clear. The tablet's clear, but uh, my photography may not be clear. I think maybe there. It should say connected right underneath the network. If it doesn't, if it says anything else, like authentication issue, that means your password and your SSID are not correct. This is not to call WinTech Industries. This is to call your internet service provider, verify your SSID, and verify your password. Okay? So once that's done, we're going to hit on next. Now it's asking me to sign into my Gmail account. I will do that. Again, I need to know what my Gmail account is. If I don't have that information, I need to either try to remember it, contact Google, or I might have to create a new account. Any mistakes in capitalizations or in symbols will not allow you to connect. Here it says I'm signing in. And this is where you'll get that message, can't establish a reliable data connection if any of the information is inserted correct, incorrectly. As you can see, the information was correct. I did backup and restore to my next choice. I'm gonna allow those two things to be checkmarked. I'm gonna tap on next. And now it's attempting to contact Google. And now it's asking me if I wanna use Google location. I do. I'm gonna hit next again. And I can say this tablet belongs to Charles. That's fine, I'll hit next. And setup is complete. I'll go ahead and hit finish. And here I am on the main screen. So it says here, make yourself at home. You can put your favorite apps here. Okay. I can also view all my apps by tapping on these six white squares in this corner. There's screen one. I can go to the second screen by swiping my finger across and I see more apps. Now, if you notice, these are in alphabetical order. We're starting in B, and we end in P, and if we swipe across, we end up in P, and then Y. So we have a game that's already pre-installed. We have our browser, calculator, calendar, camera, Google Chrome, which is a search engine, clock, downloads, emails. This is to use for non-Gmail account. File manager, this is how you get access files that are on the tablet or through the external SD card. Gallery is where your pictures will be stored after you take them. This is where you would set up a Gmail account or set up a, a, a Google uh, Gmail account or an additional Google account. So let's say you have several Google accounts. We've already set up one. We can set up an additional one by tapping on this icon here. Google Plus, that's an app by Google. You have Latitude, which is another Google app. You have Local, Google App, Google Maps, Google Messenger, Movie Studio to watch movies. News and weather, people, playbooks, play magazines, play movies, and play music. Those are all proprietary apps of Google. Second page, we have the Play Store here in the upper left-hand corner. This is where you're going to go get your apps, over 750,000 apps to choose from. Some of them free, some of them are paid apps. Google Search, Settings, Sound Recorder, Super HD Player, Talk, User Manual, and YouTube. I often get this question, why is not there a user manual on the website? Each user manual is already pre-installed on your tablet. As you can see, it's actually right here. If we tap on that, you'll see the user manual come up. Okay, all that information is there and available to you at any time. Now we've read all that and we understand how the tablet works, so we can actually hit the home button, which is this icon right here, looks like a little house. We're gonna tap on that. And you can see we have some apps here down below. What if we wanna combine these apps, put them together in like some type of folder or one location? All you have to do is tap and hold and you can drag it wherever your finger goes. Let's say you wanna move this one, you wanna put it with the YouTube. There you go, now they're together. Let's move the Play Store and let's put it in there. What happens you say, no, I don't want YouTube to go in there, I want it to be on its own. You just tap. Take your Play Store and move it out. What happens if you put an app on your home screen that you don't want it on the home screen, you want it to stay on your apps folder, which will be here, okay? So how do you do that? Very simple. Let's say you want calendar off your home screen. 
You don't want to delete it. You just don't want to see it on the home screen. You want it to be available for you, but just not on the home screen. You tap, hold, and move to the X remove. Is it gone from your home screen? Absolutely. Is it gone from your tablet? No, it's not. It's right there. Okay, so if you download something and you want to uninstall it, you're going to have to go to settings to do that. So let's first go to the Play Store. And we're going to accept the terms of agreement. Here we are at the Google Play Store. We're going to do search. And we're going to enter in, let's say, Angry Birds. Everybody loves Angry Birds, right? Type in Angry Birds. And loading. And here we got a lot of Angry Bird choices to choose from. For this purpose, we're going to tap on Angry Birds regular. We're going to tap on install. You're, you're provided with the permissions. Again, permissions are what you are allowing the app to do on your tablet. If you do not agree with the permissions, do not download the app. If you agree with what you want the app to do on your tablet, then you accept and download. Again, that is your responsibility, your choice. It is now downloading. As you can see, the progress bar is here. In the meantime, let's go download another app. And we're going to look for Netflix. So Netflix is here. We'll tap on Netflix. And we're going to tap on install. And if you first don't get a response, tap it again. And I'm accepting download. And now that's downloading. You will get a notification in the notification tray of activity. So if you put your finger over the time slot, you'll see you have today's date. You have the time, you have the Wi-Fi SSID, the battery amount, you have more settings that you can activate by touching this icon. I have an SD card that is mounted. I have eight new messages and I see you have Angry Birds that are currently downloading. You can see the progress bar going across. Here shortly it will say that it's completed downloading and it's installing. Alrighty, as you can see it says Angry Birds installing. We're going to go ahead and close that. Let's go to the home screen by tapping the home icon. We should see the Angry Birds widget show up on our screen here shortly. We just got a notification successfully installed Angry Birds. Shortcut to Angry Birds created and there is Angry Birds. So if we tap on Angry Birds, what's going to happen? It's loading. There's Angry Birds. Here shortly, once Angry Birds is finished loading, as you can see, it says here that it's loading in the lower corner. We have it, and I can choose play. And I get an ad, which I can cancel out of by tapping up this square here. Play. Let's start with poached eggs. Number one. Now if you say, well, it's too loud. I don't want it that loud. What do I need to do? And as we're doing that, we got a notification that Netflix was installing. We can adjust the volume two different ways on this tablet. We can adjust it here by tapping that icon and moving the bar up and down. Okay. Or you can use the volume button keys here. This is volume down. This is volume up. Okay. There's our Angry Birds. Not a problem, right? Pinch. And then we also have the zoom functionality as well. If 
If you get an issue like this, be patient, please wait. So again, we can pinch, we can zoom, all that availability is available on this tablet. Okay, let's go to the home screen. We have Netflix now downloaded on this tablet. Now Netflix has had some issues with their app. Um, some people say they don't load, some people say it does load. If you have issues with apps, chances are it's not your tablet. Chances are there's an issue with the app and it's compatibility. So just simply uninstall the app, review the app on the Google Play Store on your home computer or your laptop, see if any updates have been released, and then reinstall the app at a time that is not working. Uh, we might have an issue with Netflix today. It was working yesterday and it might not be working today. We're gonna go back to the home screen. We're gonna tap on Netflix again. And we're here, member sign in. Since I am a subscriber to Netflix, I will sign in. I'm typing in my email address associated with my Netflix account. I'm putting in my password. I'm signing in. And you'll see that here shortly. And it does look like Netflix is working today. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. It is what it is. Just for kicks and giggles, we'll play a little Phineas and Fur because those are the cartoons that my kids like to watch. I also have to say that my mom and dad are big Phineas and Ferb fans. My mom is particularly fond of Bashit. That's her favorite character.